Welcome to my podcast from Chaos to Peace with Connie. I am Connie Graf and your host, and I will explore with you how a few minutes a day can keep the chaos away. And with chaos, we're talking about the physical, digital, social, financial, mental, emotional, and spiritual clutter that can accumulate in our life and business. In every episode, I want to make you aware how clutter is so much more than you think how it affects your finances, and how clearing your clutter leads to more time, more money, and more peace. Let's go. Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to the podcast. How are you doing? Thank you so much for allowing me back into your ears. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. I'm honored that you're checking out my podcast. Today, I want to talk about how just achieving a goal is not enough. Just clearing your clutter is not enough. Let's start here. Have you noticed in your own office or in your home, even on your computer, how chaos and clutter attracts more chaos and more clutter? If you don't know what I mean, watch what happens when somebody throws some garbage on the ground, for example, in a street corner or at a bus station. If it's not cleaned up quickly, soon there are other people that feel it must be okay to throw garbage there, as there is some already, and they dump their trash there too. And so it continues until, in the end, that street corner or that bus station looks like a dump. This happened the other day here in our neighborhood, and one annoyed person posted her rant in our Facebook group. She mentioned how annoyed she was. It started with one person dumping a mattress into the ditch in front of her driveway instead of bringing it to the landfill, she says. And now, a week later, the mattress has been joined by beer cans, garbage bags, and other trash. It starts with one person just dumping something into a spot where it doesn't belong, and then it starts growing from there. Something quite similar happens in our home and office with clutter. When you leave an item just here for now, instead of putting it away, and soon enough it's being joined by other items that are not put back where they belong or not put away, and more and more items join until it gets out of hand and very overwhelming. That is how the piles of paper on your desk grow daily. That's how your inbox is overflowing. That's how your desktop on your computer fills up more and more. And that's how your to-do list got to this unreasonable length. Clutter and chaos attracts more clutter, more chaos, and even garbage until the situation is out of hand. The only way to prevent that, the most important thing is to keep the area clean on an ongoing basis. So there are several places throughout our home and office that are at risk, at high risk even, to becoming cluttered. In our office, it's the desk or a sideboard. In our computer, it's the desktop, the email inbox. And in our home, it's oftentimes the kitchen counter or the dining room table. These are usually nice big services with lots of room that invite us to put our stuff there. That's fine. That's what these services are there for, but only on a temporary basis until we have our hands free and can deal with the items. Otherwise, these surfaces become cluttered, a dumping ground, a permanent home of all kinds of stuff related and unrelated. I call such places hotspots. We all have them. And if we want to live and work in a clutter-free and organized environment, we have to come up with a system to make sure we take care of these hotspots before they get out of hand. Now, what most people do is they add another to-do on their already mile-long to-do list called clean up the office desk or clean up the desktop or go through papers on the dining room table. But A, because the list is so long already and the task is so daunting, they don't get to this task at all, all while the pile grows bigger and bigger. And B, they focus on the result, the clean hotspot. But focusing on the result, just achieving this goal is not enough. Just clearing your clutter is not enough. 
Because even if you get to that task on this my long to-do list and you do clean up the office or the desktop on your computer or your inbox, the relief is only temporary. As James Clear says in his book, Atomic Habits, when you solve the problems at the result level, you only solve them temporarily. In order to improve for good, you need to solve problems at the systems level. Fix the inputs and the outputs will fix themselves. So in our case, cleaning up the desk or the desktop or the inbox is focusing on the result, focusing on the messy desk, the messy desktop or the overflowing inbox. What we need to do instead is fixing the input, how the stuff got there in the first place. In short, we need to fix and change our personal habits and the systems and processes in our business. How do we do this? We start observing ourselves. What are the places we tend to put things instead of putting them away? What are the hotspots in our home and office on our computer? Most likely we have several hotspots throughout our home and office. Maybe each room has its own hotspot. Which room does not have a hotspot, if any? That is an inc interesting question, right? Which hotspot is the biggest in our house or in our office? How old is it? Do we even know? What kind of items are in it and why? Do we even know that? Every change starts with awareness. So observe yourself and become aware and familiar with how your hotspots grow, how the clutter accumulates around you and why. Then see if you can change one of your automatic habits, tweak one of your systems or processes to prevent that more clutter gets added to this particular hotspot. Don't focus on reducing the hotspot, at least not yet. Instead, focus first on the hotspot not growing, on it not getting bigger, not adding to it. So let's say you don't want your paper pile on your desk to grow anymore. Every time you catch yourself wanting to add a piece of paper to the pile, ask yourself, where does this paper really belong? Why can't I put it where it belongs? What decision am I avoiding? What systems or habits am I missing that make me put this paper just here for now? How can I change or tweak this habit or system so I don't add to this hotspot? Now, the reason why most people fail and can't get to an organized office, home or finances is because they focus on the result instead of the systems and processes, just like James Clear said. I get it. It's so hard to change ourselves. It's hard to change a habit we have. It's hard to create and implement new systems or processes in our business. We are fighting against our ingrained habits, our routines and our unconsciousness. That's why clearing clutter, getting organized in our office, business and finances is a journey of self-discovery. You get to know yourself better, why you do things, why you don't do the things you know you should do. And should with air quotes, of course, because we should never do anything. For more on that, listen to episode 126 called Stop Shooting Yourself. So without shooting yourself, without judging yourself, become aware why and how these hotspots grow and see if you can halt the growth. If you can come up with new or tweaked habits that prevent this hotspot from growing. That you can do, of course, in a few minutes a day. And that's why I say a few minutes a day, keep the chaos away, because with these few minutes, you focus on the systems level, on the processes, you fix the input and the output, the result fixes itself eventually. Okay, my friend, that's it for today. I would really love to hear what you discover. Where in your home or office is your biggest hotspot? Do you have a room where there is no hotspot? Let me know. Leave a comment on social media, for example. I focus mostly on LinkedIn and Instagram these days, but I'm also on Facebook, of course. Or you send me an email or leave a comment under the show notes. Thanks for listening all the way to the end. Have a beautiful week. Talk to you next time. Take good care and be safe. 
If you enjoyed this podcast episode and you want to go on a journey from chaos to peace in your home, office, and finances with me as your guide, opportunities to work with me one-on-one are available. Go to connygraf.com, C-O-N-N-Y-G-R-A-F.com to schedule your own personal Clutter to Clarity chat. And we will see if working together is a great fit. That is connygraf.com. C-O-N-N-Y-G-R-A-F dot com.